evening all welcome back to the channel so today we're going to look at the eve online excel book thingy type flim flam what's its name um as you will see it is evolving much like <laughs> much like man itself we are evolving this thing as we go look a picture Woo. so what we're going to look at is basically what's changed how to we there we probably quickly look at how to use it so when we deploy this tool to you you will receive it in a format much as you see here all you need to do is go to the eve online um, plugin again there's videos on how to do that please check the comments please check the description um, but you, you you add your character to this you have to download this to excel and then basically add it and then you can uh, log in and get character information see i've got two of my accounts pulled through and all you do is you basically add them and in my case i have a trader role so i've just created a separate section for my dude there and you can see how it works it pulls data through so this is currently where you know the Jita role is in well Jita you can see what ship they're in and it looks rather splendid um and I would say you can do this as many times as you like up to what a seven eight but again if you need more than two I'll be impressed but what we do then is we have a number of tools so I've given now a bit of a description we're going to have an intro page which gives a bit more of a guide but for now this is just you know when you open it you'll see this all you need to do is get rid of it and what it does is it just tells you what to do with it so let's just close that um the restocking tool now works so if you're familiar with this great basically what it does it pulls through the information to do with the character and then it basically says what you've got in your hanger versus a, a notional stock right and then it will tell you the gap and then it will give you a buy order that you can go to jita or wherever and buy it okay so very straightforward so if i go to one that's actually um enabled you can see here if i just do so well, the golden rule with this is control o f9 does a refresh on the page remember that because it, you have to sometimes give it a bit of a kick so i've just done a restock so you can see we are basically full uh, i didn't buy certain things but that oh no i've actually got an overstock here so this is this is a good thing but you see here if i wanted to buy these products i would just copy that and then paste it into the multi-buy in uh eve uh this should work now this for many many m about a month didn't work <laughs> it was a real pain in the bottom um i don't know if it's something i did i don't know because it just stopped working and i had to go back to like a version two to get it to work um and then it probably was me so you know there we go um, we have a market order tool this just shows you what market orders you've got i currently have one billion currently on the market and i don't have any buy orders a rare thing for me to be honest but okay um the selling tool is probably the primary reason we actually created this tool it was something um it was the original design because again just to remind the design requirement here the problem that we were solving was i do a lot of invention when i then come to basically sell that invention i didn't like having to literally go through each item show market info work out a price and put it in so this thing just does it for me now um, and obviously I've got nothing to sell at the moment but you see what it's doing is it's working out what the current sales price is knocking a bit off using logic and then basically proposing a sales price that you can then just copy into the multi-sell tab so when you do sell all it brings up that multi-sale window and then you can just copy that in you just literally paste that in and it will then update all of your um your costs that you want to charge um big healthy warning here always check the market i sold some stuff last night that i was flabbergasted to see some people were really bombing the market i don't know if they're doing it on purpose or they're just incompetent because there was stuff like 30 40 percent lower than than anything else and i think there's probably just people trying to cut the market but who knows it was it was comical i made a lot of money off them because i bought it all and put it back on at the higher price so we'll see who wins there um we have a blueprint function just zoom in on this one slightly um ooh, no there we go no no there we go oh my gosh um <clears throat> this just shows you your personal blueprints under your control i would then go to the corp one because this is the one that is more enlivened and here you can see how many um corporate uh, corporate blueprints you've got i did put out of 5035 we're going to edit that number down because we've we've now agreed in the discord that there's also an awful lot of stuff in there that's just impossible to get so we'll we'll edit that down to a number but and we did have this running which was a percentage like pokemon you've got to catch them all 
it told me that I had 9.39% of all of the blueprints purchased, which made me smile. As a completionist, it triggered something in my brain. <laughs> but what it does is it shows me all of my blueprint originals, the ME, the PE, um, and that's it. And then really just some base pricing. So I know that I, for some reason, have splurged almost a quarter, half, a quarter of a trillion onto um, blueprints. So fun fact. And it'll show you here your, your highest value blueprints. And I want to buy an Erebus blueprint. Hit me up. <laughs> we then now have a blueprint copy tracker as well. So this thing is designed um, to basically show. Uh, OK, let me just fix that live. So this is designed to show um, the total hour rate. It's not going to do that, now, is it? Hmm. Have to think about that. Um, it's, it's basically designed to show you invention. So here you can see how many Tech 2 blueprint copies you have. So you can see, for example, I have way too many modulated strip minor 2 blueprints. It's because I don't build them. They're difficult. But it's, it's an example to kind of give you something you can quickly scroll through and say, OK, we haven't got many medium shield boosters. We haven't got, you know, drone navigation computers. Almost like a, a stock system again, which is telling me, go and invent these. In fact, I've just realized another product, another part of this product we can add, which is go and invent these. We'll add that in. It will be something that just says you need these because there's only one or two of them. Go invent it. It also shows you the blueprint copies that you have for things like ships as well. So here you can see if you have anything worth running. It shows you the runs. So again, I don't know why that's not come through. It, in fact, I think it has. Let's just see. As you can see, we're literally still flipping about with this. Right, let's try that again. So format, format, format. And then that is runs. There we go. So fun times. Uh, that's basically showing me how many runs. For some reason, you could do an awful lot of copies of old blueprints. That's a very old blueprint there. Look at that. 1,500. That is crazy. Same with the Anaconda blueprint as well. Um, but there we go. Fun times. So this is quite useful uh, just to sort of help you understand what blueprint copies you've got. And then it just shows you here by type how many you've got by quantity. Um, I have removed some of the stuff. I've not included you know, things like mine blueprints because well, you can't make them. They don't, they're not in the game really anymore. Um, Corp Tracker, nothing particularly interesting about that. It's something that I think um, we probably need to move beyond. Um, so we now have Dave's Auto Garage. This is something that we're working on. Um, the idea is, is that you'll enter here something that you want to make. And then you, uh, so if I just give an example, so Paladin. There we go. And you see, basically, it will tell me then what I need to make this monster a ship, what I have in stock versus what I need, okay, and then where I have a gap. And, where, and you can see here I have a quite a big gap. I can then just take that as a buy order and buy them. And then I can build this thing. We're going to add a numbering into here, so you could do one times, two times, three times. But at the moment, that's pretty much what it does um it's a bit broken so you can try and play and break it so here for example this breaks it because <laughs> ravens only need smaller amounts of stuff so we're working on this that's a work in progress you see there but basically that's how um it works we'll keep adding to this because we want to then have a broken down materials for the parts here so if you want to make these which obviously i think you should then there will be the ability to do so there so yeah and that's it. So we do have some other things that we're working on at the moment. Um, the market uh, analysis tool is ready to go. We're just trying to work out how best to deploy that. Um, because the issue with it is it's going to break your quota of refreshes. So remember, every time you do a refresh, it takes some from that. So this is why we're going to have to think a little bit carefully about how but how to use that, um, because if you refresh just more than maybe twice in a day, that's it. You've you've bankrupted on that character, any market pull. So the rest of this sheet for things like the restock, for example, um, will be blocked, I think, for 24 hours. But I could be wrong. So this is why we're doing a little bit of testing just to make sure um, we want to do a few more things like um, pull in some information around the uh, blueprints so again we want to have some more kind of checklist so at the moment we've just deleted that because it was just causing a nightmare um, but there was a bit of an issue with the performance of the book as well so we've had to make sure that certain things and i'll give you an example here so let's say you've got market orders here 
I think our, our she goes down to something like, I want to say a thousand. No, there it is. Probably about four, five, two. We're going to add to that. But the thing is, you can't have anything that's unlimited. So at the bottom of this sheet is 1000 rows. However, if I, if I demonstrate, I don't know if this will do it. Bear, bear with me. There you go. So if I now copy all of those formulas down to row 1 million, it will create a uh, an entry for it it creates a, a an artifact if you like in the sheet and if you do that across multiple sheets all of a sudden every time you open it it's having to check millions and millions and millions of cells for calculations for things and we can't have that so we are going to probably limit this to a sensible amount which could be a thousand so for example in the selling tool this is limited at the moment to i think not that much actually if i scroll down it's going to be yeah so because you can only do a hundred sell orders at a time okay now we we'll probably make this maybe 500 but you, you see the point it, we're trying to keep the sheet every time you open it it opens immediately and we don't want it to have some sort of logic this is why things like the type ids if I just scroll down, that's now up to 50,000. So we have to be just a little bit careful, boring under the bonnet stuff. But hopefully you can at least see the, the, the due diligence and rigor that we are putting into this tool to make sure that it, it, it always works. And one of the things that I would really like to fix is this. I have many times gone to Jita with a, you know, my pockets full, overflowing, bursting, my sack bursting with Tech2 products ready to share with, with you, my brothers. And basically I can't do it because there is an hour's delay from this tool refreshing and then refreshing again. Does that make sense? So it's not the tool's problem, it's Eve's fault. Eve's own, Eve only sends every hour certain information. It's like your assets window, it only updates certain times. And the problem I've had is you, yeah, if you do that, don't open this sheet or don't refresh this sheet until this character has got all the bits in there, Jita, Hanger or wherever you, you were set. So there we go. Interesting stuff. Hopefully that is of interest to many. Um, go and get the sheet. It's on Patreon. You, it's for free. You could just need to sign up and um, that's it. There's no, no further commitment is placed upon you. And please do enjoy it. And join the Discord because there's a wonderful group of people. Massive shout out to Kaz, to, to just everyone. I mean, there's, there's, you know, I'm going to look at my, my little list now and just like call out some wonderful people. You know, Varney, thank you so much. You know, just so many people are helping with this so definitely definitely please do uh join the discord because if you have issues they'll help you as well if i'm not around but there we go hope you enjoyed that we'll see you next time